Hello, this is a quick video to talk about the colours in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't really like the fact that the ground markings at airports are, are so saturated. I mean, the yellows are really yellow as if they've been enthusiastically painted just yesterday. Um, and I don't really like the fact that in the scenery itself it's just really green. I fly mainly in the UK and I find it too green and there's a bit of a yellow tint that I don't really feel is quite natural. So there are a couple of things that I've been trying recently to improve those. Uh, the first is uh, this ground marks modification which I'll link to in the description. And the other thing is uh, I'm indebted to Jeff who mentioned it in one of his videos. It's to change the settings in the NVIDIA uh, game overlay. I didn't didn't know anything about it, didn't know it existed. Uh, he changed quite a lot of settings, but I've actually just changed a couple which I will show you now. So the N, for NVIDIA graphics cards, to bring up the overlay, you hold Alt and then press F3 to bring up this filter. Be careful because if you hit Alt and F4 by mistake, it just closes the sim without asking for any confirmation. So I'm going to go to style number one and set up a filter. And I'm going to just choose, there's just one setting really to change for me. Go into colour and expand that. And these are the two settings that I've got in place. The vibrance is like the colour saturation. So I'm just turning that down basically uh, the smallest amount I can. So it's gone down to about minus 12. The temperature uh, affects the hue, so that's a really warm uh, yellowy orange, that's a cold blue, so I just want it to be slightly less yellow, so I'm just going down one click basically. So minus 10, minus 12, something like that, and for me that is more natural looking. You can compare by just toggling at the top off, and then back on. So it is a very subtle change and there's other things you can fiddle with as well. Jeff changed a lot more in his video, but this seems to work for me. It just tones down the colors slightly. When you're done, click done. Now, unfortunately, this changes the whole game. So when you go back to a menu or you're planning a flight in the world map, the colors in that will also be reduced and affected by the same filter. So there we are. That's my preference for fiddling with the colours in the simulator. Okay, bye bye.